Good evening. I'm looking at the clock up there, which is running slow. Mine says 7.01. So let's get going. Um, roll call. Mr. Black. Here. <coughs> Mr. Brooks. Here. Mr. Hines. Here. Ms. Waterman. Here. And I'm John Hartwell. So we are all here. Um, the first item on the agenda is to consider the meeting minutes from December 6, 2023. I want to apologize to everyone for not having brought this up in an earlier meeting. Um, I hope everybody got a chance to look at it and that uh, they're okay. I have a comment on them, Mr. Oh, Chairman. Please, yes. Um, the way they're, they're written, they're mm -hmm. written as if we're the RTM. Hmm. We're not with this resolved bit, resolved that the RTM approves the transfer work committee. We recommend approvals to the RTM, but nothing, no action we take is final or definitive. Okay. Um, so, you know, I'll leave it, you know, I'll just, I guess, abstain, but of approving them, it's more stylistic, but, um, you know, it's important to note that we're not the RTM, we're simply a committee of it. We simply make uh, recommendations. recommendations. Yeah. Yes, okay, so just so I know, how would you have changed recommend. one of these? Instead the, of resolved, we the recommend. Ways and means, you know, if you want to write it all out, ways and means recommends that the RTM <coughs> approves. Uh, that the motion would always be to recommend approval of whatever the agenda item is, not to provide the full RTM. Okay. So, for example, in number three, uh, Representative Black made a motion to approve. We were looking at a, we were looking at um, this uh, tentative agreement by the town of Brantford and you know, United Public Services employees in, in number three. Um, and so how would you have I would have, I would have um, worded it for purposes of, of the minutes um, to say uh, that the committee recommends approval or to recommend approval. I mean, I may not have said that literally. Um, and I guess, you know, I'm taking, we have very formal language here with resolved mm -hmm. that the RTM recommends. Um, but, you know, whenever we make a motion, whether it's articulated or not here in committee, it's a rec recommendation to the full RTM. Okay, so, um, well, we'll get to this in just a moment, but so what's your proposal here? That we not pass these minutes and rewrite them? Oh, no, I, I mean, again, because we're, we're not a definitive body, mm -hmm. um, you know, these minutes are, are supposed to be up within seven days, actually. So, right. you know, in the past, we, I just typed them up when I was chair and got them on there, whether, um, you know, people could, uh, but because of the, the time limit, so they're, they're late already. They are. Um, so, you know, if, if we want to, uh, you know, I'd, I'd leave it to anybody's discretion to revise them, but I don't. You know, materially they're here, but stylistically and they're, you know, at least going forward, we should uh, correct, put okay. it down. Correctly. But in terms of the timing, we, we need to approve them generally at the next meeting, mm -hmm. which is going to be obviously more than seven days later. So we can write them, put them up, um, but then we have to bring them back and approve them before they're finalized, right? That's that's been some discussion, but uh, you know I know you know Representative Everson in particular has been wanting to get the minutes up there, um, you know again because they're not a, a final action. It, you know there is an error in them. It's it's not fatal in any way. Mm -hmm. um, well, so what would you suggest this evening? <clears throat> I mean, I would suggest that going forward they just get posted within the seven days, but, mm -hmm. you know, that as a, the secretary, you know, writes them that, you know, she just writes recommend approval to the full RTM. Um, well, we don't have a secretary. Okay. Well, are, are you, you're the clerk, Josh. No. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no, I thought we're supposed to have a clerk. Are we? We yes. don't. We yes. don't. We have never, we have never appointed I, a clerk. I thought, I thought, um, no. Representative Waterman was a clerk. You've been taking notes. Have, have you oh, been doing all the? I have. Yes. yes. You've just I, been oh, taking, taking them notes. all for yourself. Yes. yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, so we do not have a clerk. Okay. Yeah, all right, well, we, okay. can, we can talk about that later. All right, so, um, so the question is what to do with these. Are you okay with Yeah, I'm okay with posting these. them. But, you know, <clears throat> now that you've made this, made this right. uh, observation. Right. Okay, that's fine. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. All right, thank you, sir. And um, who would like to second that? I can second. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any other discussion? Um, no? Okay. Everyone in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Okay. So we have indeed a second set, uh, the same thing. Uh, these are, in fact, more recent. They're from um, the February meeting. And uh, so the question is who, if there are any changes to the minutes that were done and posted? Anyone have any suggestions? No. Okay. Would someone like to move? Motion to approve. Well, I'm sorry, was that Motion to approve. Yes, okay. And uh, second? Second. Alyssa, thank you very much. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Not. Okay, so they passed five to zero. Okay. All right, let's get to the main point of the meeting tonight, which is um, a series of transfers, uh, primarily because of the contracts that we recently approved for the for town employees. Um, and I believe we have the HR director, Margaret Liberta, to come forward and talk us through. Um, and bef before we begin this, again, as a matter of formality here, we have a lot of these transfers tonight and each of them has multiple line items. Do we need to read no. each of the line items no. into the no. record? No. Do in not. Fact, okay. No. I mean, my, Mr. Chairman, I mean, my preference would be to roll, you know, I think it's three items here into one motion. These are contractual obligations. In fact, right. I'll, um, You're suggesting, Mr. Black, that we roll four, five, and six into one. Yeah, let's. Let me no. Try. Where am I? That's not right. Tonight's. Miss, Miss, Mr. Brooks doesn't agree with that. So why don't Maybe we just don't. take number, okay. let's take number four. Uh, it's I only four and five. Right. Well, we have four it's and only five. four no, and not, five not, that not you six. Were no, not, six. Not so not it's RRB, only two. But the contractual one. Right. Yeah, it's Which four and five. Okay. I'll, I'll make a motion four. to roll four and five into one. Okay. And I'll, I'll second that. And can we make that a motion to approve at this point? I'll make a motion to approve four I'll, and five. I'll second that. I mean, we, we have to, we, we approve the contracts. Yeah. Right. We can't not approve the funding. <laughs> Well, this is true, um, yeah. but uh, you know, things might have changed in the meantime, so you never know. All right, thank you. So I'm going to read number four. To consider and, if appropriate, approve the following transfer request and resolutions from the Director of Human Resources for fiscal year 2024, pursuant to the RTM-approved collective bargaining agreement for town hall employees, U.S. I'm sorry, UPSEU local number 405 union contract as follows. And we're talking about moving $109,566 from contingency to a variety of funds that have to do with paying wages to town employees. So, uh, Ms. Liberta, would you like to talk about this? Well, let's read 5 2 because we rolled them together. We did. You're right. Two. Thank you. Yeah. To consider and if appropriate, this is item number five, which we just rolled together. Approve the following transfer request and resolution from the Director of Human Resources for fiscal year 2024, pursuant to the RTM approved collective bargaining agreement for the Town of Brantford employees, UPSEU union contract as follows. And we're now talking about $104,695 coming out of contingency and going to pay various. Uh, line items having to do with wages. <coughs> and again, Ms. Liberta. Sure. Um, these are two separate agreements. Uh, one is for the town hall employees, which is about 24 positions. Which, that is yes. number four. That's number four is town hall. That's correct. <coughs> Those are most of our administrative type staff, mm -hmm. non-exempt employees various departments as outlined in the um, allocations noted. Mm -hmm. 
on five is for our Branford Union, Branford employees, again, in a separate unit, union contract, agree or agreement, however you want to say it. Um, these are employees who are primarily exempt, not eligible for overtime. They are, are independent contributors, professionals for the most part. And um, there are about 23 of those positions. I ask for your support of the transfers. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for Ms. Liberta? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience? We have several RTM members here, and uh, <coughs> at least, yes, two RTM members. Mr. Tuhill. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I mean, I, I, think, I, I think what, uh, I think what we heard from Senator Brooks is, I mean, is correct. I mean, these are contracts. They've been approved. We have to pay for them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tuhill. That's absolutely correct. Anyone else from the audience would like to? No? Okay. So um, I'm going to ask for a motion. Wait, wait. No, the motion's, motion's been made. Oh, motion. made a motion. Ma motion's been made. Motion's been made. made. And who seconded it? Okay. Peter Second. Blacks. But Peter seconded it. Oh, I'm Peter sorry. Second. So wait, are yeah, we you're right. then just... Based on yeah. what um, Mr. Black said before, are we approving the transfer or recommending approval? We're recommending approval, approval by, by the, the full RTM. That's what we always do, regardless of what we say. <laughs> to that's consider what we if it's so it would be then recommend approval. Correct. Is that, is that what the, you the would? The motion is to recommend, recommend approval, approval of these transfers. Of these transfers. By the full RTM. Correct. So in in and fact, okay. what this should have been should have been written that way to consider if I'll appropriate recommend approval recommend approving the following transfer correct is that right? that's correct okay so um, i'm going to make that change <coughs> yeah and that will be the same over here okay and as you pointed out we do have a motion and a second all in favor Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Uh, abstentions? No. Motions. The motions are approved. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Okay. Chair, I'm yes. going to recuse myself. Yes, Mr. Black. Thank you so much. Oh, you're getting scared? Is that what it is? Yeah. You're just going to let us control everything? Uh, that's yeah. a mistake. <laughs> Definitely a mistake. Okay. So for those who are not aware, um, Mr. Black is, in addition to being a member of this committee, he is also the Deputy Republican Registrar, and so therefore this number six would directly impact him, and as a result, he needs to recuse himself, and in this situation, he actually needs, according to the Charter, to remove himself from the room, which is what he has done. So do we need to, so is, we, we did this one and? We did number, we did four and five, which is well, number oh, okay. six. Okay, so then do we need to move the corresponding animal control transfer and the sewer utility? I didn't read those, did I? Yes, you did. Five, four and five. Oh, just all of four and all five. All of four so and five. So we voted for all, all of yep. Okay. So all the way down to, we just <coughs> voted for <coughs> All the way down to where six starts, so all of the stuff right. is in there. Okay. Sorry. Just no worries. All right. So uh, number six to consider, and if appropriate, uh, recommend the approval. Uh, the following transfer request from the Registrar of Voters for fiscal year twenty four. From contingency, $72,600, and to a series of uh, funds for the same amount, $72,600. Part-time clerical support, election workers, deputy registrars, which is why Mr. Black had to leave the room, overtime, seasonal part-time help, moving and storage, purchased services, repairs, postage, meal supplies, and travel. Uh, you make a motion to approve. Okay. Second. All right. Jeff. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> so tell us what's happening. Why do we um, need the money? My understanding is that I, am not passing the ball here, but I was not part of this budget when it was originally set up for 23 to 24. Um, my understanding that when it was, it did not include the uh, District 5 Republican primary that was in August, I'm sorry, September. Uh, and also does not include the primary that's coming up on August 2nd or the early voting, which is coming up the week before that. Um, so a lot of this, probably about, half, well, two thirds of it is that 52-6, which is election workers. Um, so a lot of that is that um, part-time clerical, let's see, we can get through the list here, but that, they said that's part of it, those two weren't included, so that's, that's a good chunk of the, the money right there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So, sorry, so yep. the primary in, in August yes. last year? Yes, it was the September one, yeah. That was the District 5 Republican primary. For the RTM so, primary. Yes, right. Yeah. So that was September of 23. Yep. And then early voting for which will be the end of this month, and then the primary for uh, April 2nd. So those two primaries, including early voting, were not included right. okay. in the budget. Okay. Can I ask a question yeah. not related to your money? Yeah. Why wouldn't they just cancel the primary? Which one? The v primary on April 2nd, there's two, one candidate for each side. Why not just cancel the damn thing? Why spend uh, the money? Well, that, Why that spend the time we, and money? We would greatly like it. Actually, it was actually supposed to be at the end of April, as Connecticut usually is, but they moved it up to make us more important in the right. national front. Uh, my understanding is there's four people on each one, even though, like in the case of the Republican one, Ron DeSantis stepped out or, or stepped down like two months ago. He's still on it. He's still on the ballot. Yeah, he's still on it. Um, and I know I think uh, Haley's on it, and there's two other ones, rec names I don't even recognize. So, they, right so even though they're out of the campaign, their still yeah, name so is on the ballot, yeah, yeah. and you have a right to vote and, and for right. them. And, and then never mind. Yeah. I, I'm so done. And Sot's already declared it, I think, last week. Right. These are the four people. Here are the four people. This right. is what's going to happen. So right. no, I, I'm with you on that, but it's just people well, have they the won't. right to vote for it. Right. So. Yeah. Okay. That was yeah. it. That was yeah. my question. Yeah. So um, obviously this is money we have to pull out of contingency mm -hmm. to put in. Let me ask a question because we're about to hit budget season. Mm -hmm. um, what are you going to do for next year? We, well, Peter, myself, and even um, Don Conklin, who was, was the other deputy, uh, we have worked to build those in early, uh, not just this, <coughs> supposedly next year. Well, next, next year is July on. Um, there's a, going to be supposed to be a primary in August. Of course, you have the big one, the big election in November. Uh, and also those two election cycles are now instead of one day, so make it two days, are actually the one in August is actually going to be eight days because of seven days of early voting. So we only have four this time. And then in October to November, we're actually going to have 14 days. So that election period now becomes 15 days. So we have um, done proposals and, and budgeted that money in so we don't have to go through this again. Uh, other things may pop up, um, again, that you can't always think, but we have, again, trying to learn to you know, put enough money aside for certain things. So, but I said like this one, uh, I'm not really sure why, you know, money was not okay. They, the August one happened. You, you couldn't do much of that. This one in April, um, again, is I don't know why they well, didn't. Well, I, I recall a discussion on this. Now that you're saying it, and there was discussion. I wasn't, but there was discussion uh, last year about that early voting was coming but because because it was quite a hot topic the the you guys and your budgets because mm -hmm. uh, you guys go go to your budget and <clears throat> are now so it was kind of there was a warning that when early voting took took shape that there was funds were going to be needed yeah so and For all everybody that, here, it may be a shock, but I remember being an RNO and having that conversation, right. knowing that was coming. And the other thing was that they didn't know how many days of early voting right. Right. there it was were going totally, to be. So right. it was passed in 2022. Mm -hmm. The constitutional amendment was passed yeah. to allow early voting, and then they had to figure out who was going to do how much. Exactly, and also to not have like 14 days for all of them. As you notice, this primary is only four. The next primary is seven. And the, ele the presidential elector is 14, so it's kind of increased. Right. May I add two things that I, and I apologize for forgot? My understanding was, too, uh, with finance, I think Ian was the director, but the finance, Jim Finch, my understanding has always been Dan Halley, who's business, who I took over for, that he always preferred to keep primaries out and keep them as a contingency thing, keep them off the budget, 
and we talked about for next year that we're going to actually add add it to it so we don't have to go through this come back to you guys or whoever and say you know we have money moving around or please give us money so but my understanding is that i forgot to mention that and number two is we do have money that finance has from the state each town big and small is given ten thousand five hundred dollars okay. yeah i but i'm saying so we have some money to use for other stuff but again is you know we kind of have to use it piecemeal as we see fit for stuff so yeah but I, I apologize for adding those two but um the big big thing is is primaries were not originally included in our regular budgets and again is that's why the the august one september one and this one were not added and that's why we're kind of coming back to you now saying hey well, can you give us some money to pay for it? I, I don't think the september one was anticipated well that one was totally so, not a not a budget time for not sure a budget time for sure okay uh, any other questions from members of the committee no any questions no. from people in the audience anyone at all no okay no um so it has been moved and seconded by chris and josh that we approve this all in favor say aye aye, aye. all opposed none okay no. uh, so that passes by four to zero with uh obviously mr black i guess abstaining officially. he's abstained yeah yeah abstaining officially yeah Okay. Uh, all right. Great. Thank you very, very Thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank okay. Um, I think that ends the business for this evening. Oh, should we get Mr. Black back? We should. Mr. Black. <laughs> oh, there's a can There's a microphone. I don't think uh, he can be registered as even upstairs. Yeah, I don't think he can either. He's not voting. He didn't vote. He's ineligible to vote. So he doesn't okay. stay. All right. Okay, I will strike that. Pass for nothing, so it doesn't right. matter okay. anyway. Um, do we do? Should we elect while we're all here together a uh, a, a, a clerk? Clerk. We should have done that to begin with. Well, I mean, we still can do it right I now. Know. I know, but so you're elected. It's done. Well, wait. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this, isn't it? Um, you know, tradition that someone from the other party becomes the clerk? Oh, you want to make Peter Black no. the clerk? <laughs> <laughs> and you're not making him the I clerk. I think Mr. Black would make an excellent clerk. That could be Josh. He's in his own party. I'm not being a clerk. You <laughs> see my hand right It's been somebody. It's hand printed. Do you we need a clerk? No, I did it from I'm willing to Navy. do it. All right, so, so all we, will, we won't have a clerk. And, and can, can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Adjourn? Yes. Yes. I'll and second that. Second it, Mr. Black. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. We're out of here. Thank you.